Since the beginning of the administration, I've tried to visit a school a week. Uh, now that the budget's over, um, I want to get back to that. And, and what a better time to, to come out and visit uh, the schools after we put a record amount of money into uh, the school system. Uh, we're making great progress. And so this is one of the schools that we're going to have our international baccalaureate if we get the money that we propose to the council um, uh, in the budget. So I'm glad to be touring it with Dr. Maxwell and to continue the progress we're doing in Prince George's County. Uh, this is one of several types of programs you've been talking about. Tell us how you, what you intend to do with this money you're proposing. Today. Well, what we've done with this budget, and I've explained this to uh, the legislature and to the council, is that we targeted uh, where the money's going to go. So this is not simply taking $133 million and just throwing it at the, at the problem. Um, what we've done is, with the work of Dr. Maxwell, is actually target where we can see the greatest gains. International Baccalaureate Program, um, our programs to retain great teachers and great principals so that we're not losing them to surrounding jurisdictions. Our all-day pre-K programs we're going to expand. So it's really getting to the heart of what's going to make take Prince George's County from the bottom all the way to the top ten. We believe this will do it. And I was so impressed because at each table they were working at, they had each individual was a leader, so everybody participated. It was just impressive. I haven't seen that in a long time, quite honestly. So they're great leaders. So let's hear from the leadership team. So we, uh, we all hone in on a specific content area, mm -hmm. whether it be reading or um, counseling or ESOL, special ed. So we help to be, um, we help our teachers out. We help to be the backbone so that they can, in turn, be the backbone for their students. So do you look at data? Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. I am the testing coordinator. I'm the data lady. And what do you do with the data? Um, we analyze the data, first of all, and that means that we disaggregate the data in terms of our subgroup, looking at perception data, looking at attendance data, discipline. We're trying to look at the entire picture, and from there, then we plan next steps strategically on how we can meet our goals. So we're working towards not only our school goals, but our systemic goals as well. How often do you meet when you look at the, at the data? We have what we call collaborative planning weekly, and so the teachers meet and look at the data and talk about it and talk about strengths and weaknesses of the students and what are some next steps in order to increase the overall performance of our students. People will bring up parental involvement. You know, really where the problem is is around parental involvement. And so as you look at the data and you say, okay, a student really needs um, more help, and there's just not enough hours in the, I'm just guessing here as an amateur, not enough hours in the, in the classroom to get that and you need parental involvement. Or there may look like there's issues going on. How do you do the parental engagement piece? So when, we, when I started here, we had one person that was in the PTO. So we started, what we did was we came together during the summer as a leadership team. We had a, a retreat and we talked about some different structures we wanted to put in place. One of them was committees, and one committee was a parent involvement committee where there were, the staff members chose to be on that committee who had a passion for that. And they've gone from that one PTO person to about 30 regular attenders. And the PTO president, I believe, is here right now. Yes. Oh, so now we have a PTO you're on the spot. President. PTO. <laughs> yes. Yes. And, um, yeah, and what grade is your child in here? Second. I have second. twins. They're in the second. Oh, wow. Awesome. Yes. Have girls or boys? A boy and a girl. A boy and a girl? Yes. Okay. <laughs> twins. Yes. Yes. And as Ms. Washington said, we started um, small, but we're gradually growing with parent environment, involvement. And we were doing, you know, fundraisings to interact with the kids and the parents as well interact with the kids. So. And so one of the things is people talk to us and, and ask us questions about, okay, it's really about getting parents involved. You just did that, or everything will be better. Well, it's part of it. And we just want to make sure, but it's also resources. You know, it's resources you're spending time, effort, and, and, and money to uh, engage parents. And we want to do the same so we elevate the system level. Right? right, so we can have more ambassadors. Part of what we want to do with this is the same thing. We had folks who would not even test out our school, not even try them out, where there were great schools just like this one right here that they simply just gave us a chance. There may be things we couldn't offer uh, that you could find in private school, but it shouldn't be because of safety and academic rigor. And 
one of the things you'll see with this investment, and the reason that I think the time is for it, is that if you look at the amount that we're putting into our school system with this budget, 21% increase, $133 million, and we still don't come close to what Montgomery County puts in their school system. Not even close. But we want the best for all of our children. So I appreciate the work you're doing. I appreciate you just giving me the time. And sorry for taking so much of it. Thank you.